Hello everyone, welcome to Beauty in the Garden, I'm T. So I'm gonna start you guys off at the back garden because I'm gonna go ahead and harvest some things. And as well, I'm gonna go ahead and do a walkthrough and see how things are going. Now I always do an early morning walkthrough just to kind of get myself caught up on what is going on. So what right here is the corn that we planted in the last video. And I mean, you guys, it has really put on some height and it looks really good, it looks very healthy. I don't see any type of leaf miners or anything like that. Everything looks really, really good, which you see here. So the corn is doing absolutely amazing. Now, as we go along here, I'm gonna go ahead and show you, this is um, all my containers here. This is all 26 uh, containers of peppers that I have here. And the peppers are doing really good. Now it's time for me to go ahead and start uh, clipping some of them. I go ahead and top some of them off. Um, and as well, it's time for me to go ahead and tie them to the bamboo stakes that we went ahead and applied to them. And the volunteers down here, they're doing really good. I'm not quite sure you guys where I want to put them yet. The garden is quite full uh, with a lot of plants already, but they'll do good in this containers for a little bit longer. So I'm not in a quite bit of a rush to go ahead and figure them out where they're gonna go. But um, I'm definitely gonna go ahead and try to figure out some place for them, okay? Now over here, we have, down here, we have our banana melons that I have came up. And you guys see that little patch right here, banana melons. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, spread them out into the garden. And then down here, if you see all of this beautiful garlic all the way up and down this bed, it's almost time. It's almost time for me to go ahead and take them up. I'm starting to see a tad bit of yellowing, not too much, but I'm gonna go ahead and take them up. Now, as far as the peas, I am not, going to harvest them for food i'm actually going to harvest them for seeds now these seeds were given to me and um i want to go ahead and collect them so that i'm waiting for the pods to go ahead and swell up a little bit more but i see that they're starting to so i will be saving the seeds on these and down here we have some tiger melons that i went ahead and popped in right here i went ahead and separated them out and as well right here is an orange watermelon and over here as well is another orange watermelon. Now, you guys, the peppers in here has been struggling. I do not know why. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is go ahead and put in some worm castings into this bed um, around these plants right here. So I have here uh, the green bell pepper, the purple beauty bell pepper, and as well the orange uh, bell pepper in this bed here. So, and what you guys can see what I was talking about is starting to yellow the garlic and I will be removing them very soon. So right here is the uh, watermelon here. This is the uh, sugar baby watermelon. I went ahead and uh, thinned them out. If you guys can see, I kind of spaced them here, here, here. I left this patch right here because I was trying to figure out if there's any more room that I can go ahead and pop in some more things. So I'm just gonna hold on to those. So I'm gonna go ahead down here and harvest this radish right here. I have one radish left. I'm gonna go ahead and harvest this one. This is a sparklers uh, radish here. And then as well, we planted up a ton of cantaloupe back here, which you guys see is doing really good. And the mini bells here, they are doing really good as well. Um, the orange, bell pepper right here something bit it and uh, bit it down to the soil could it be some type of uh, cut worm could have went ahead and and chopped it right in half so that one did not make it but I am going to go ahead and thin out the cantaloupe a little bit more I started to thin them out here I need to go ahead and thin them out here as well but let's go ahead and stroll along. Okay, so but down here in these containers right here was the elephant garlic. I do have a clip of that and I'll go ahead and insert that because I went ahead and harvest that uh, maybe a couple days ago. The potatoes are doing really, really well, which you see here. Okay, and it's almost time for the potatoes. They're starting to, start, starting to see a little bit of yellowing going on. So it's almost time. And right here is the tomato plant. It is doing really good as well. Let me see here. Is that, yes, this is really doing really good here. Um, I do not see any blossoms quite just yet, but the plant is very healthy. 
So as we go ahead on, I do gotta go ahead and tie all of my squash plants here. This is my sweet uh, squash here. This is like um, pumpkin varieties here. And I need to go ahead and tie them so they can go ahead onto this trellis. So this is uh, all my meat squash right here. So what I came back here to actually harvest today is my beets. So let's go ahead and pull up the beet. So here's a golden beet right here. It is ready, you guys. Um, so I'm going ahead and pull it up. It's a nice size one here. It's a nice size one. golden beets it's a nice one here look at that it's a nice beet so these are very delicious they are sweet so I do like that that the golden beets are sweet Okay, here's a red beet. Here. Nice size beet. Got a little one right here. Oh, that one's split. You can't use that, that one's not good. Okay, so we got another nice size beet here. Right here. It's a good size beet. So I really am happy to go ahead so I can go ahead and get some other things planted. Maybe even some of those volunteer squash. So over here, the potatoes, you see? They're doing really good. I'm starting to see a slight uh, color difference in the potatoes, so it's getting close. It's getting close to uh, the time to go ahead and maybe soon, very soon harvest. Okay, so we got our beets. I am gonna go ahead and cut up as well the, the leaves and put them into a salad, um, or I can go ahead and saute them down great like that as well. I am going to go ahead on, I have a couple more things that I want to go ahead and harvest today and because it is looking like it has to come up, it has bolted, so I'm going to go ahead and take that one up as well. So it is right over here, see it here, this is the Chinese rose radish. Okay, let's see what else I have. So I went ahead and took them up. And I'm gonna go ahead and clean off all of my beets and my radishes. And as well, I'm gonna go ahead and harvest uh, my daikons right here, okay? So here is a daikon. one's pretty small but that's okay so right here is all of the radishes and beets and I'm about to go ahead and prep them 
Now, as far as the China Rose radishes, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna save the tops of the China Rose radishes because they have already started to bolt. And as well for my daikons. They'll just go into the compost. Now, if they didn't bolt, they actually taste really good to go ahead and saute um, the leaves. But I don't care for them once they bolt. So it's a nice radish, the China Rose a radish. It's a very pretty radish. They can get really big, you guys. So um, they mine did not get that big, but that's okay. It's to be expected with the heat. But as far as the beets, I'm going to keep the leaves. I'm gonna go ahead and Cut them, and I'm gonna put these in a bowl. And I'm gonna just go ahead and clean off my beet. I do like to kind of leave some of the top onto my beet, so we're gonna clean them really well. So that was a China Rose radish. This one actually got pretty uh, decent size. Now they can get much, much bigger than this. Kind of like how the daikon radish can get. So, but this is a very nice size um, Chinese Rose radish. gold beet This one I hear actually bolted. So I'm gonna take my sponge and I'm gonna clean them. Okay, and here is the gold beat.
Okay, and here is the red beet. Okay. And here's a daikon. And I'm just gonna go ahead and finish cleaning up all of our harvest today. Okay, you guys, we're at the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoy the content. But here is our harvest today. We have all of our beet leaves, and as well, we have our radishes, and as well, our beets. So I hope you guys enjoy the content. Please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, so you can be notified when I do upload a video. And remember, there's beauty in everyone's garden. And bye-bye for now.